Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Stepford map. Now this is part two of a uh, mega build to get machines into Shangri-La. So, uh, yeah, uh, we got uh, the uh, Planck's uh, production chain operating. Uh, now we need to get the steel production chain into there. Now we got the uh, rail linkage up to the, from the machines factory to the uh, steel mill. Now we just need to get the raw materials into the steel mill. Now, uh, there's a couple things we can do. Uh, we can bring in the uh, coal by truck, um, and, or we can bring it in by rail. Now, I kind of think I want to bring it in by truck, because why not? Uh, okay, so if I'm going to do that, uh, I'm going to need to put a truck station. Uh, okay, so buildings for road. Buildings, yes, here. We'll make them extra, no, we'll make it extra long. Uh, and we'll stick this in over here. Do we, though? Do we make it a uh, terminus station? Yeah, we do. Okay, we stick that in there. Right. Good. Now, we need to uh, stick some roads. We need to stick... Um, right. This is going to be the Cabot Cove steel mill. Right. Uh, and so is this. right good that allows us to keep track of what we're doing now we need a truck station over here uh, I keep clicking on rail when I mean road and road when I mean rail yeah uh, that's uh, terribly useful isn't it right so we only need one platform over here no yeah no we'll put it on that side okay so we can stick this in here and that's a Dog River coal mine. Coal mine. Yes, okay, so that we can get a road, uh, which is going to be a uh, medium country road will do. Uh, we're going to let that bend, but we're going to take advantage of this nice viaduct that we got from the rail, uh, and then we'll We'll come around and then over here we'll do the same we'll come around sort of in line with the rail there but we'll head off down the valley um no let's do that in shorter segments okay like that then like that and then we can even do it like that and then like this yeah, okay. Good. That's got uh, that road connection there. Uh, right. And I'm going to need also for the Cabot, Co Cabot Cove coal mine, I'm going to need a uh, truck station there. Uh... Can we get it to line up usefully? Uh, that way we can. Okay. And this is going to be the Cabot Cove coal mine. Coal mine. Yes. Good. Right. And then we need to... Uh, you get... No, really? Uh, we need to uh, stick a road there. Now, uh, we want to go around here, so uh, we'll come around, now, and we want to basically hug the shore there, I think, uh, okay, well, uh, we can do that. 
like kind of like this we can do that uh, right okay we'll come straight across like you know we're gonna hug it a little bit more just because you know because I can uh, we'll come across like this And then we can sort of beeline this, but we'll uh, bend it out just a little bit and bring it in like that. Okay, so that gets us uh, that gets us coal operations, right? Uh, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to get a uh, truck depot which uh, I guess should probably live over here. I mean, it seems like the place to put it anyway. Now, what do we need? Uh, we could use the Peterbilts. Uh, which carry 25. Or we could use the dump trucks, which carry 21. You know what? I'm going to use the, the dump trucks. So I'm going to put eight, or I'm going to put eight on each line here. Uh, or maybe I'm just going to, I'm going to put 10, 10 on one and five on the other is what I'm going to do. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five new line here to here yeah cargo truck that's the dog river coal to cabot cove let's call that cab c steel mill yeah and then we'll go here we'll take all of those new line from here here yep so that's the cabot cove coal mine to cabot cove steel mill yeah there we go we have coal uh being collected now the question is where are the iron mines that are closest that one's in use that one's in use um, there's one here and one here. Okay. So those are our iron mines. Those will definitely be rail into Cabot Cove. Yeah, those are definitely going to be rail. Uh, okay. So let's get the ugly. Uh... I think I'm going to run a single line from here to here and through. So uh, let's uh, grab uh, single track stations. Now, how do I get out of there? Uh, probably around through here. So... Um, and where's that one? Okay, I think I want this station on this side. Like that. Okay, and this station, uh, maybe it can be a terminal station. Hmm. Yeah, that'll be a terminal station. There. Okay, well, let's uh, turn that off so you can see what we're looking at. And this will be the Frostbite Falls Iron Mine. Frostbite Falls Iron Ore Mine. Yeah. 
And this one over here is the Eldorado Iron Ore Mine. Iron Ore Mine. Yes. Okay. Now. Uh, over here, I want two bypassing tracks. Uh, okay, so uh, do this, do this. Right, now, uh, this, can we get straight through to here? We can. Well, I'll be. We'll do that. Do that. Take the tunnel. Okay. Well, I'll... Uh, I'll go with that. No. I need to come from the other side on that. Right. Okay. So we come across here. Good. Uh, so what happened here is we actually cut through the uh, the mountain with the station, <laughs> which uh, you know that works, I guess. Um, now we need to come down to uh, Cabot Cove, which is up this way. Well, if we can join up with this track here, no. Maybe. Eh. We'll uh, come out over here at the very least. So, uh, anyway, uh, this goes like this. Yeah. Good. This connects over like that. Good. That needs a double slip. Uh, okay, now, how do we get this uh, down the, uh, the mountain here? Well, if we get this back, uh, we come down around through here, I think, is the way to go. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll come down that way. Uh, okay. Well, uh, we come down this way. Yep. Now, uh, do we go around the nose of that... Uh... Wait a minute. Where's that track go? From here, it comes down around here. It comes down through here. Hmm. Cabot Cove is over here. So if we come up. Huh. Okay, let's turn that off. Can we actually connect with this? Too much slope. Okay, no. Uh, well, in that case, what I'll do is I'll go over that line. Uh, get this back so I can remember where I was going. Okay, so if we come around here, we got too much slope, but if we level that, we can get over the uh, intervening rail line. How much slope can we put on it and still have it work? That'll do. Yeah, we'll do that. Good. Good. Okay. Now we need to keep on going down here. Okay. 
That's going to be something of a... Uh, Hmm. Well, we need maximum down bubble here. Uh, yeah. Well, maximum down bubble onto there. No. Yeah, that's the direction we want to go. Uh, well, I'm going to take that for the moment. I just want to check something. Uh, yeah, we can get into Cabot Cove, uh, without, uh, without too much, uh, difficulty. Okay, where's the, uh, track to now? Uh, okay. Um, right. We got maximum down bubble still. Yeah, and uh, still, yeah, and still, yeah, Okay, and we can come across there. What if we do that? That's terrible. Okay, well, we'll take that there. Okay. Like that. Okay, turn that off so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah. And I want to, I think I want to head off this way now, but I think I can turn that off. Okay. Do that. Do that. Right. So if we, uh, Keep on going this way. We can come across here. No. Uh, right. Back that up. Uh. Okay, let's try something over here. Uh. Can we... Yeah, that's not any better. Okay. Uh, right. Okay, now... I think, realistically, we need to strike out across here. Come on, latch. Where is straight? Oh, for pity's sake. There it is. Uh, okay, we'll do that. And... Uh, Okay. Okay, I guess uh, that gets us reasonably close. Okay. Uh, okay, and we come down. Okay, then I think we punch through the nose. Yeah. 
Yeah, we punch through the nose. Now. Can we get over all of that mess? Uh Oh, we can. Uh yeah, that works. Okay, we'll take that. Good. Now, it's a matter of getting down to Cabot Cove. Okay. Well, that. Good. Now, if we run through here, and we make that do its thing, and it will connect on. Okay. So now we just have to get past Dog River. Uh, which track is that? That is the left hand track. Okay. Uh, okay. Now we can come around this way. And I think, oh, we can just trundle on past. Okay. And then, yeah, that works. Okay. Now we got to put the second track on here. Huh. This is taking longer than I expected. That's why I split it into two parts, I guess, because I knew this was going to. Okay, so this is a fairly long line to uh, truck our iron ore down on. But, that's fine. This is kind of a neat stack of tracks there. Uh, um, and, you know, I kind of like it. Now, we're going to have to put a few signals on here, because we're going to be running probably two maybe three trains two probably uh on each uh on each uh line along here now there's uh the reason is just the length of it right we'll probably end up running two trains uh okay and that connects up the line okay now we need to signalize it so we need one here for sure um, yeah we do that yeah I guess we can do this yes we're gonna need signals like that yeah definitely and then on down the line here. There's going to be, I think, four trains running on this track. Um, by the time everything is all uh, uh, settled in. Uh, this, I think, will be the line that we ride, uh, once I fling some trains at these. Uh, right. So I'm going to need, uh, iron ore trains, so gondolas. Uh, and I'm going to need... Uh, what is it? Uh, a flat car, I think. To bring the steel on. Uh, okay. Uh, I need a crossover on here. Okay. Good. Line. Okay. I'll put another set here. And then, I guess, I can fling a uh, train depot. Uh, a 
over here. Yeah. There we go. Now, uh, we need to put trains on here. Diesel, SD40, cargo. Uh, we need that. Need gondolas. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, no, we'll put seven on those. Uh, we'll get two of those. And we'll, uh, what do we want? We want to... uh buy a uh right we need flat cars right yeah okay one two three four five six seven eight yeah we'll put eight on there just because uh yeah And uh, that's going to need a engine, right? Yeah, it's definitely going to need an engine. Okay, and we'll buy that. Okay. Uh, close that out. Um, I'm going to just stash that. Okay. Now, we'll uh, do a new line on that. And that'll be... Where is it? here uh where is it oh for pity's sake it's over here yeah okay so that's gonna be el dorado iron mine to cabot cove steel mill yeah okay and we'll pick this up uh I'm going to park that one because we're going to uh, get on that one and uh, ride it, I think. New line from here to here. And that's going to be the Frostbite Falls. Uh, iron Mine to Cabot Cove Steel Mill. Uh, okay, and then here, this is going to be new line from here over to here. Right, so that's Cabot Cove Steel Mill to the Sunny Dale Machines. Okay, that should complete the... Uh, the chain for this now uh, you don't actually have to complete the chain to get production at any step along the way uh, just to make it absolutely clear that I'm not saying that you need to do that uh, no uh, it's just completing the chain is how you maximize your uh, throughput and profit right uh, so that's why so this is the uh, uh, Cabot Cove uh, Frostbite Falls uh, Iron uh, Train. Now we're heading first to uh, Cabot Cove. And then we'll ride this back up the line all the way to Frostbite Falls. And uh, that'll be it for this episode. Uh, we've definitely got uh, enough done this time around. So, uh, anyway... Uh, in case anyone's wondering, you know, I got a question uh, the other day about whether uh, whether this was a kernel failure map. No, it's not. Uh, but uh, I think the uh, the reason for that is the city names, uh, things like uh, Mega City One and uh, uh, Ankh Morpork and uh, things like that, right? Uh, but no, I. I suspect that I picked up the uh, names from a similar place where the colonel got them, right? Uh, I went for a list of uh, sci-fi fantasy town names 
And then I toss in a few more to the mix. So, uh, so that got me things like Mega City One, uh, you, know, you know, things like that. Uh, but the, the other stuff I added in, like Cabot Cove, is obviously from Murder She Wrote. Uh, you know, Dog River is from a uh, a comedy program called Corner Gas, a Canadian one. Uh, Dog River being a fictional town in Saskatchewan. Uh, so yeah, uh, Shangri La is the uh, mythical place, uh, uh, you know, for various. Uh, uh, tales. Uh, so there's a, there's a whole bunch of things like that. Uh, Stepford is obviously a reference to uh, a particular uh, story. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's um, that. That's really uh, uh, where all this stuff came from, right? Uh, but this map was a random generated map uh, with a whole load of towns added to it. Uh, and manually placed industries and so on. Uh, and that, uh, and, and then I just, you know, named all the towns uh, uh, based on a, a list that I have somewhere. And I do have a list, so uh, yeah, that's basically uh, basically what it uh, what it comes down to. Uh, uh, and, and, you know, nothing against the Colonel's maps and all, right? Uh, like his uh, current Peninsula uh, um, series, uh, for instance. But playing uh, playing a map that I've already watched somebody else uh, uh, muddle through or whatever, not as interesting as you might expect it to be. Uh, I've actually seriously considered taking a swipe at the Dune Canyon map, though. That one has some interesting challenges and doesn't have so many towns that it would necessarily clobber the uh, performance immediately, right? So uh, I was thinking of taking a swipe at that one and not doing a main line for cargo, but it's, uh, uh, it's it doesn't, uh, the, the layout of the industries does not lend itself to, to that on uh, uh, it does not lend itself well to point-to-point -point industry or industry connections. Uh, you know, just it, it just doesn't lay out nicely for that. So now that means there will be some absolutely massive uh, uh, dosh rolling in as a result of getting those lines up. But the number that would have to cross the canyon uh, to make it work is uh, quite, uh, quite daunting. Uh, so I may take a swipe at that, actually. Uh, but uh, I haven't, uh, I haven't come to the to a, a decision on that. Uh, uh, realistically, uh, the next uh, next game will probably, uh, you know, next map on Transport Fever Two uh, is probably going to have a few fewer towns. Uh, you know, that's uh, obviously. <laughs> Uh, and uh, and that uh, that will definitely uh, make a difference. I might make a long, skinny map and uh, do a main line on that. Actually, uh, if you remember the previous series, I uh, you know I did a did freight hubs and uh, that got pretty crazy for trying to balance. Uh, uh, trains and so on, right? Uh, and it got tedious. So, uh, it, I need something with a little bit of a challenge, right? So I'm thinking maybe a, a, a long, thin map with uh, a couple of major obstacles that uh, force um, that, that force some uh, uh, particular uh, setups that uh, are less than uh, than ideal, right? Uh, or, or something like that. Now here's our uh, first uh, iron mine. Uh, so, yeah, this uh, this line uh, looks like it, it works out okay. So, 
Yeah, I think I'm happy with how that turned out. It was not a bad ride up that uh, twisty uh, mountain incline there. Um, yeah, I might actually go for a map with a little less elevation differences in it, a little less hilly. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll definitely... Uh, yeah, I definitely need to start looking at what to do. Uh, I'm hoping there's a patch soon uh, from uh, from Urban Games uh, to either improve performance or fix bugs or both, uh, particularly in traffic. Uh, is, uh, traffic is worse than it should be because of some unfortunate behaviors with the... Uh, the uh, tra the cars and so on. Now we're going to pick up like 15 or 10 or something. Two. We picked up two. Uh, we have two iron. Right. Okay. Well, uh, this will uh, will um, uh, start uh, uh, picking up more uh, once uh, once I get once the demand is up, and that will probably happen by connecting. Uh, the uh, uh, machine's uh, output to other towns. I'm not sure exactly, but that's that's what'll happen anyway. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, that's uh, that's it for this project. Uh, the next project, I'm not sure what it'll be, uh, but there will be one because we don't have all the industries connected up yet. Uh, it might be another machines, the other machines factory, because there is another one somewhere, I think. Uh, uh, I think there was. Uh, it might be getting that one connected up, and then, uh, and then uh, from there, uh, going ahead and uh, maybe get all the construction materials and stuff connected. Uh, it's uh, I, I I haven't uh, decided exactly, but. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll look around the map next time and see what we can do. Anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's going to be uh, all for this time. Uh, so stay healthy. Uh, you know, I've been saying that forever, but yeah, stay healthy. Uh, and don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And of course, see you back next time.